all right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be doing a should you summon for the new chandler that was released or not released uh released this morning he or in the patch notes uh we have the beats is rough translations right here for us and uh also go subscribe to beats uh that's also why i wanted to do this go subscribe to him you know get him to 22k let's go um and also because he made a very very good point as to if you should summon or not at the very end of the video so i'll go over that as well um but yeah we'll be going over the chandler's uh kit his banner what will probably be coming next after chandler and yeah let me know down below if you guys are going to be summoning i let's just get right into the kit to be honest um he looks good he he, he does look good but they made another backline-ish unit i think i don't it's so weird. Okay, so basically he's a green unit, and um, Reinhardt and Bond are kind of pretty goddamn good right now. I can't lie. Like, I just did a Reinhardt video, and he did a million damage with a rank 3 uh, single target. Like, without a Bond buff or, like, anything, he just did that much damage, and they're super tanky. They have, like, 500k HP, like, turn 1, like, with no Bond buff, so... Using a green unit, not the best idea, so I feel like he is now a backline unit. Um, I don't believe he works with the old Chandler, by the way, and even if he did, that would be an even bigger L, because uh, I, I saw someone ask uh, about his relic, and I'm pretty sure Chandler is, yeah, his name is Pacifier Friend, or Fiend, uh, so I believe that's a different one, and then if I go to characters and I just look up, like, the Arthur, it says Camelot Sword, and then this one is, okay, never mind, this is New King Arthur, is that what it's called? Okay, New King Arthur. So either way, they're still all different names. This one says Magician Chandler, that one says Top Genie Chandler, or Primordial Fragments. Either way, Relic doesn't work, which is a good thing, because if, if it did work on this Chandler, he could not get any better physically, because he, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he just couldn't um but yeah let's go over a skip if all allies participating in the battle in the battle are specific allies all allies have a 40 percent increase in the pierce rate when a certain ally attacks an enemy uh one debuff effect on the enemy dam damage is increased by one debuff effect on the enemy by 10 percent up to 30 percent hp so if you have debuffs on the enemy you get up to 30 percent damage increase uh and for you get a max of 40 percent increase i think no, it's just all allies get a 40% uh, pierce rate increase, which is good. But I think that's the only good thing about him. I don't... Pierce AoE is good, but that's because Meliodas has, like, absolutely cracked festival stats. He increases his own stats when he uh, single targets. Um, now, could he have... This guy could have cracked stats. I assume it's just 250% across the board, right? If I go to Meli, uh, I assume that the pierce rate AoE is just 250 Oh, rank three. Okay, I was looking at the rank one. I was like, Melly's AOE is only 100. His is 250. What? But no. Okay, okay. So it will probably do really, really good damage. Um, but one huge unknown or uh, demon team flaw, if you guys have not found out, is Summer Merlin. She or the Red Gother team, Rimuru, or something like that. Uh, they steal their buffs. That you know they attack to you every single turn because they pull 17 Merlin cards and you pull 17 attack cards. They don't have any debuff cards on this team. Besides, if you use, like, uh, the Hendy, I guess, but they could probably obliterate Hendy turn 2 or turn 1, whatever. Um, they also have, uh, you, you might have Blue Zelda, so you could, you could do an Infect, but that's only one card. You have an Exort, that's only one card. Um, I'm talking about debuff cards. I saw some people saying that they don't have debuffs. They can get Sario Link, they can get Esteros as passive, but they don't have cards to proc the, the the passive to actually attack and get all the darkness on you um so that's one downside of the demon team and i think it makes it a bit balanced but uh as i just saw a comment saying if you run with Esterosa, something 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 like yes it can work but the attack seals are everywhere like i did like three matches earlier today and two out of three were summer merlin teams because they're so prevalent and they always run evasion food because they never go first because they have small cc um so yeah, uh, and then his ultimate is really shit. Uh, go for the one six, not worth the six six. It's literally just Captain Meliodas's uh, ultimate at six out of six. Stuns for one turn, removes stance and then buffs. 
and then at six out of six it stuns for two turns um not worth in my opinion uh just just not worth um but now i think could be a festival spot. okay okay so here it is here it is fan is actually just wait to see what comes after him yeah because, so uh, yeah if we do get a Ragnarok character then I might want someone for that one maybe it's trail you know uh, I do like Chandler but I do like one more yeah I, it could be a Ragnarok people have been saying it could be a festival it could be I agree it definitely could be um they did it last year where they did Margaret then Kusek and then around this time I think was Fest Gother if I'm not mistaken if I go to game news uh past banners um uh, April July August September end of September was Hijack Gother and Hauser so there is a possibility but it was a download celebration let me go to 2020 of um September it was Keo, so it was the uh, KOF collab, and Wing King was around August, so I think we have, yeah, we're in September, I thought we were in August, so I think we already passed that, uh, the Wing King, but who knows, obviously the timeline is a bit messed up because of all the collabs and Ragnarok and whatnot, so they could, but it's not confirmed, obviously, so I think it's either going to be a Ragnarok, or what I'm thinking is um a oc banner because um right okay now that's the valenti in the east and i'm looking for the uh ba, 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 where is it where is it where is it um right here right here right here okay okay so if you don't see right here it says the catastrophe event oh they actually dropped with oh i thought it was after so maybe not because I was, I always thought that the catastrophe event dropped, and then after is when they dropped the OC banner. So maybe I'm, just, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. Um, but I thought they did it like that. But I guess I could be wrong. But I'm leaning towards Ragnarok or an OC banner. Just my thing. But if you look at the banner, which is right here, which is pretty bad. I don't know. It's decent, I guess. There's some units that you might not have. But there's like Camilla. There's Green Frowdron. There's Red Esterosa. Um, granted, Esterosa could get a relic one day. Maybe it'll be really, really good. There's Red Lilia. She's pretty shit. Uh, I mean, she's not terrible, but you want Blue Lilia. Uh, Red Derriere. Blue Zeldra. It's like, ugh, the old one, by the way. That's not uh, it's not the good one. Uh, Awaken Eason's unique, I guess. She's pretty rare. Nothing too crazy. MK2, she can't get any better. She's also a green unit. She has okay stats. Uh unfortunately she just got power crept hella hella hard uh the, realistically the only ones that are worth on this banner for summoning for it would be the new green mono chandler i guess the the, the blue one and then the new green one which is a solid backline unit I, he's not terrible i just think he's a good unit not broken um and so should you summon in my opinion Wait to see what the next banner is. I know every single YouTuber is probably going to say this, but the Chandler is such a niche unit. We already have Zelda's backline, uh, the blue one you could use or up front, and then you can use Ragnarok Bond backline. Uh, you could even use Death Pierce, I guess. I don't know. Um, or you can use, just use Green Zell backline still. Like We don't need another backline unit, to be honest, and that's what I think that this guy's going to end up being. But who knows, maybe Nagato or some of the JP YouTubers get to showcase him. He's going to be absolutely ball-bustingly broken. Who knows? Just watch the videos. Uh, but in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I don't think he is worth it. I think you wait, uh, and I think that a Ragnarok... If it is an OC banner, sure, go for this guy, sure. Uh, not many people max up the OC team. Um, but if it is a Ragnarok unit, I assume it might be either Freya, the big booby woman, or the axe guy. Uh, I don't remember what his name is, but it's like, I think it's Tyre. I'm sorry, it is 6 a.m. I've been up all night. Uh, so in my opinion, free to play, wait to see what the next banner is. And even then, honestly, I don't think it's worth summoning. So, yeah. Let me know down below if you guys are going to be summoning. I will be skipping him on JP. And I will be summoning on Global for 1-6. Going to get the cool outfit. He has, like, a really cool PJ outfit. Um, that's all I'm going to get. Um, and, yeah. Go subscribe to Beats. He's uh, probably one of my favorite Grand Cross YouTubers. Like, look at that face. Look at that face. Top tier. But, yeah. Peace out. And...
Hope you guys have an amazing day, and best of luck on summons if you do end up summoning.